Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, February 5th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. As you can see, we did rally quite a bit today and then gave most of that rally back. So there's a little bit of mishmash. Usually it is Bitcoin that basically leads the way. But in recent weeks, it has been other cryptocurrencies that have stolen the spotlight. Um, some of the reasons are because uh, Elon Musk, for example, is... Uh, um, for example, at the moment, Dogecoin is the one that is growing the fastest. It was up roughly 35% uh, today because uh, Elon Musk tweeted about it on Twitter and therefore it rallied. The same goes for Bitcoin. He, rallied, he made a tweet about Bitcoin right here and you can see how much it rallied and then broke down. So, but usually it is Bitcoin that leads the way. It has been differently different uh, the last few weeks. Uh, however, at the moment, it looks like it's almost certainty that we're going to test 40,000. If we break 40,000, then we'll go to 30,500 and after that to 50,000. So long term perspective um, uh, forecast for Bitcoin is that they will basically go past 100,000, probably also 150,000. So, um, yes, it is um, not the same as it was back in 2017 where we rallied and lost, then it lost half its value, didn't find any support at all, and then rallied again and then fell roughly to 3,000. At this point, it is behaving more like a currency or a commodity. It has uh, significant support here at the 50 moving average. So a pullback towards the 50 or the 20 exponential, that is basically at the moment, major buying opportunities for Bitcoin. So at this point, it is not good to enter it here. If you're thinking about it and to buy it in the short run, you should wait until it pulls back towards the 20 or the 50 in order to maximize your trade. So let's look at Ethereum. So as you can see, we have rallied all the way up to 1697, almost 1700. And then we gave most of those gains back. And uh, at this point, I think we're going to drop back to 1500 before we go higher. We could go as low as roughly 1353 before going higher from here. So when I said that some other cryptocurrencies have been outperforming Bitcoin, well, Ethereum is one of those cryptocurrencies that has been outperforming Bitcoin quite substantially. It had a massive move here in this week. Uh, however, we are getting fairly overstretched. If you look at the at the weekly chart, we are above 90 in the RSI. We're significantly outside of the Bollinger Band as well. And uh, if you look at the daily chart, some of these technical indicators are looking have basically signs of weakness. RSI is turning around quite aggressively here, and uh, the MACD and the Stochastic are becoming flat, and the RSI is already flat. So pull back towards the 20 exponential. 1500 is probably a good entry point, but best entry point here is just when it touches the 20 exponential moving average. At this point, it's at 1345. So let's look at XRP. So it has rallied quite uh, significantly today. We saw this massive rally here due to, uh, well, Reddit. Uh, it broke down uh, with a massive bang, roughly lost roughly 65% in a few minutes and since then we have found support here at the 20 50 moving average and now we're starting slowly to gradually go up to the upside and this looks more like a sustainable move compared to this so we'll most likely rally up to 0 0.5 then break down towards the 20 exponential and then we can go gradually higher from there so this is one of the more cheaper cryptocurrency. So I'm guessing many people are looking at this and saying, okay, if I put a little bit of money into this, maybe in, in three or five years time, it will grow into a similar um, cryptocurrency like Ethereum or, or, but probably not Bitcoin because it's worth, well, 40,000. 
So if this goes to 40,000, then there will be a lot of billionaires going around that invested at this point. But pullbacks towards the 20 exponential moving average at 0 0.3376. That is your major buying opportunity. Target here is 0 0.50. So let's look at Litcoin. Or Litecoin. I'm probably pronouncing all of this cryptocurrency wrong. But Litecoin. So this is the first cryptocurrency that I have bought as a long-term investment. So I've been looking for at many of these cryptocurrencies for a long time. And I did not want to invest in Bitcoin, probably because it's way too late. If you are investing in Bitcoin and thinking that you will, will become a millionaire because of it right now, then you need a whole lot of cash in order to... to, uh, to uh, to gain anything from it. So if you wanted to, to really become rich on Bitcoin, you should have invested a long, long time ago. However, there are other cryptocurrencies that may become extremely valuable in the future. And I think this is one of them. So this one also has a cap of, I think it's 80, 82 million. So there will never be more than that in in the world similar to bitcoin that also has a cap but much lower so there are things that are are positive with that for example the negative thing with ethereum is that you can create more of it and you can basically create more supply and that at some point will drag the price down because there's a cap on this similar to bitcoin there will be a shortage and that shortage can mean that this can go very parabolic at some point if it becomes very very famous and it has become fairly famous due to paypal and so on so it may have a significant advantage because paypal has over 300 million users and if this becomes part of their platform and so on and it can rival bitcoin quite substantially to be fair on so so there are things that I like about this, and also it is not as parabolic as much, uh, many other other cryptocurrency are. So you can see that the 20, the 50 moving average, all of them are offering significant support. It's not like it breaks completely down and then it goes up. It has major support levels acting as uh, as a commodity, uh, to be very honest. So at this point, we are trading at 146. Um, we are we have crossed 150 long term uh, medium target here is 175 if we cross that then we are going most likely to 200 so there are different forecasts for litcoin some say in in 5 years time it will probably go to 10000 well maybe the first hurdle i can see here is that we need to take out these previous highs so Bitcoin had similar challenge. It was 20,000. Here is 377. If this man, if it managed to break through uh, this top here, if it managed to rally up and basically take out this top, then we could see something that goes to 500 and probably to 1,000, maybe in a year time or, or two years time. Well, we'll see. But it is encouraging. You can see that in also weekly chart, it is also reacting to Fibonacci retracement levels. So, uh, whoops, we can't, sorry, there. No, we need to get rid of that. So we go up there. Didn't work well. So last time we broke down here, we went all the way down to the 50 Fibonacci retracement and then it rallied from there. So this was of a specific target that was reached and then it rallied and those things i think are good signs there are some structures in this price um, price action it's not just uh, wandering around in the middle of nowhere and therefore i don't expect this to just break down to zero or anywhere soon it has significant uh, price levels for example of fibonacci retracements of moving average and so on and is acting on those uh support uh, areas so yes this is uh, uh one of my long-term investments which i will hold on hold on to probably for three to five years and then see how much it will gain so let's look at the last one that it is neo 
So we'll look at the daily first. And as you can see, we have also touched the support level here at the 20 exponential moving average, and that is at 22.76. So this is also a cryptocurrency that I like. The Basically, the one thing I don't like about it, it is that it is similar to Ethereum that you can basically um, increase supply. And that is basically like fiat currency. I just see at some point that when there is a, uh, is, um, is a supply shortage, it will just create more and that will drag down the value of this cryptocurrency as it will for Ethereum at some point. However, this is what they call the Chinese Ethereum and the Chinese are much more um, into the digital currency and use it basically, as I understand, for on a daily basis. And that is a massive market. And if they basically get everybody to do that, then this could grow enormously at the enormous high levels. It has support here at the 20 exponential. Uh, at the moment, 25 is the target. After that, 28 is the target. And then uh, we go significantly higher. So pullbacks towards the 20, that is a buying opportunity getting close to the 50, that is even significant buying opportunity. So 25 was major resistant here, and that's why we broke down. At the moment, we have tested it several times, broken through it. I think we'll gradually grind through it and go towards these highs of 28, and then to 30, and then beyond that. So this cryptocurrency started off really high, all the way up here at 144 and then lost most of its value back in 2017 when Bitcoin, for example, also collapsed. So at this point, it looks like we are gradually going to go higher and it will be very interesting to see where this basically goes. A long-term investment in this should also be uh, quite uh, profitable. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see new newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.